So today is Thursday, May 23rd, I think. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you guys are all doing great. It's crazy because there was just a video that was uploaded and I was already kind of feeling crappy, but I managed to upload it. And um, here we are today in the emergency room. Um, my mom is here. She went to go get something to snack on. I'm here because of um, this constant ongoing diarrhea. I didn't know if I have an infection, had some feeding tube pain, didn't know if it could be C. diff. That's what my doctor was thinking. So they're going to check and see. So you guys, yes. One of my neighbors over there, I'm in it by myself, but um, she evidently does not like needles, so I thought it was a kid, <laughs> but that's a grown woman. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just feeling crappy. It's obviously crappy. Um, way too much diarrhea going on. Like I said, it's not anything where just a specific day or time, it's just consecutively. I haven't even really been able to get a lot of great sleep like I want to because of that. And um, vomiting, feeling nauseated, it's just been out of control. So I came here to take my ambulance and um, I don't think they're going to admit me. They're just trying to just get everything checked out and see what is going on. I'm also going to get an x-ray done as well. So hopefully all of that will help and assist to get to the bottom of this here and I can move on. Um, just really nauseated. I, I tried so hard to stay out of the hospital and I'm proud of myself because I've been, I've been doing great. I haven't used an ambulance in over what, I think in two years? So that's a victory. But I felt emotionally frustrated along with feeling obviously sick frustration I'm like I cannot believe I'm back in this scenario again like I'm just in a lot of pain right now so something I'm feeling better so I'm gonna just stop talking because um I just need to rest morning what is this <laughs> Happy, happy Monday and also happy, happy Memorial Day to us all. And especially to you guys out there that have family members, friends, um, you know, husbands or wives, um, children that have, um, you know, been in the Army or they're still in the Army or even those that have passed, you know, we honor you, we celebrate you, we respect you, we appreciate all of your service and your full dedication to making our lives to be happy, healthy, and free. So you keep your eyes open, keep your head up, look up, because there's a bigger, brighter, better on the horizon just for you. And you have to know and believe that you're well deserving every good and great thing that's coming your way. Alrighty. So, oh, hold on a second, my ears itching. Um, there's nothing much going on today. It's just kind of just a relaxed day. Didn't really have any plans. Ever at work. So mom and dad were going about an hour. They went to go um, do something. Say nothing really in particular. Nothing really fun to vlog. I just want to just vlog something for you guys. So I have my little blue and white on today. This dress. I have my tank top on. Got my little bracelet that my neighbor made for me a couple of years ago. And I love it. I think it was last year either. 22. But anyway, I love my bracelet. This dress is from Walmart. I'm kind of feeling a little tired, so that's why I'm utilizing the cane right now. Um, it is actually a beautiful day out. It's nice, 
Um, last week we had some rain, but but today the weather looks great. Literally so hot and humid out here that it's not even an ounce of wind that's blowing me well. A little, but it feels more humid, like it's just blowing higher hair all around. See? So yeah. So look at my glasses. They really kind of, kind of, kind of like transition glasses. Like they'll turn dark when she hit the sunlight. So I think that's neat. <laughs> also, right now I'm watching one of my other favorite things that I love to enjoy, which is tennis. So this is on, and I totally forgot it was coming on because it came out at 11 o'clock, and right now it's after 12. So I'm about an hour late. So I'm going to have three, so got a couple hours left. But that's a good thing about that. And I'm also currently in here cooking, but I'm trying to get the dishes out of the way first. But um, we still do things at one time. So I have some shrimp pasta that I made, meatloaf in the oven. I have some broccoli that's going in the microwave being cooked. There has like a little small chicken here that he did before they left. This is gonna go by fast. And there's rice that's stuffed on the inside. Now he didn't do that, but he buys it from this place called the Butcher Block and their stuff is absolutely amazing um it's jalapeno poppers i'm not really a fan of jalapenos because it is too spicy especially dealing with stomach issues <laughs> recording but let me give you guys a little background on why i went even though i think i explained in there i don't know if i was talking loud enough but in a way we'll give you guys some context here so in a way um all of last weekend all of last week i was just really when i say outrageously having back-to-back -back diarrhea you know sorry this is you know too much tmi but for you guys that follow my journey our journey um you guys know my battle with multiple chronic illnesses and how harsh and crazily difficult that is and the reality of dealing with just um, illnesses, you know, on hardcore. I was concerned that it could have been a GP flare because I literally haven't had a GP flare up until about pre-feeding um, pre tube. Shoes has always been around since late 2016. Um, but things really, you know, got out of control, you know, as the years gone by. So that's how that came about. And as you guys know, 22 was the first time of having the feeding tube. So that's the way that I felt like feeling extremely nauseated, uh, feeling like I constantly just wanted to throw up, vomit every single time. When I lay down, stand up, sit down, it just felt like I just wanted to just vomit no matter what I was going to do. Looking at the tube because around this area here, uh, my stomach area, stomach where the feeding tube is placed because the feeding tube is literally right here where I'm pointing. Fear of mine that could have been. And even though I've been through the infections, um, you know, the, the, the infection aspect before, so I definitely knew what to look for, you know, what to check. I just diarrhea and just think about if you guys ever had a stomach, you know, stomach problem or stomach virus or a stomach flu. That's how it feels, just ongoing, nonstop. No matter what you do, you try to rest, you're getting up. If you go somewhere, your mind is always self-conscious of where the closest bathroom. It was just harsh. I don't know what. And talking to my GI, you know, talking to the primary care, they just probably just stomach bug is going to go away. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm thinking about all those things there, but I am feeling miserable. I can't even sleep. They did an x-ray. They didn't see anything with the feeding tube, which was great. The pain still was there, but they gave me pain medication. Um, you know, they gave me a prescription for the nausea. They also gave me a prescription for the diarrhea, you know, which when I got home, I took that and it helped later on and I didn't see any diarrhea the rest of the weekend. What it is with that, uh, they never knew what it was. It could have could just been something I ate. could have been you know, maybe change your two feedings, and I did the two feeding the other day. Um, nothing occurred where anything out of the ordinary. So it was nothing really crazy over the weekend. Besides, like I said just feeling stomach pain yesterday, but nothing happened, and it was just very short lived. And I recovered quickly, so that is phenomenal, wonderful feeling, especially off of the body. So I'm happy, you guys. I'm just glad to be feeling 100%.